Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've been gone for a little while, and uh, as you can tell, my room is a freaking mess. Um, all this stuff. I've been working on my computer for the last few days. Uh, found the root of my problem. I gotta pick up the modem. It got fell behind. It fell behind the thing. I'm just probably gonna rearrange all my wires. It's a really big mess. Uh, but I've been working on my computer for a while, and uh, I finally found the problem. Is this stick of RAM? I did a. I used MemCheck, uh, and I removed one of the RAMs that I thought was bad, but it wasn't actually that one. Because I had to remove. Uh, I'll get to it in a sec, actually. So I decided to remove one of my RAM, and it was bad. I mean, it wasn't bad because I still were, was getting errors. Uh, so I removed this one. And the reason I removed this one before any of the other ones was because I was having a problem reinstalling Windows 7. Uh, let me go back, actually. I was having a problem at first. Uh, I got, kept getting the blue screen of death, if you don't know what that is. Uh, it's pretty much when Windows shuts down so that uh, it prevents it from getting like from farther damage. Usually it's because of either... Uh, it usually tells you why, but usually it's either because of a driver issue or like... Uh, or, you know, like a hardware issue, which is why what I had. Um, so, I had this problem a while back, I think, and it, it, I, didn't, I didn't know what it was. I just turned off my computer, turned it back on. It worked for like a month or so, and it was fine. But then it happened to me again. I was like, hmm, this is familiar. I think it happened to me before. And then it kept happening. Um, and each time it was saying memory uh, management. And that's pretty much your, like, memory is your RAM, you know? So, uh, I had a, I had a hunch at first, but then I decided maybe if I just restore my computer, because it was leading me back to a driver that was either corrupted or uh, something was wrong with it. So, I decided to reinstall Windows, but I didn't have the actual disk for, uh, X, for 7, but I had the actual disk for XP. So, I uh, got XP back on my computer, everything was fine, and I reinstalled 7, but every time I tried to reinstall 7, it would tell me that um, there was an error while it was expanding the Windows files. So we, I read up online for a while, and uh, me and my dad, we were f working on it for a while, and I, we still couldn't get it to work. And we were reading up online, um, I told my dad about this thing I read, that it could be possibly the RAM, and that we should check it, but uh, we tried a bunch of other stuff after that, and then my dad looked it up too, and he agreed with me that maybe we should check it or just try to remove it and install Windows. And if we remove it and install Windows, because some people were saying it wasn't the RAM that was bad, it just needed to be removed to check Windows. And so we did that, and then I reinstalled, I removed two pieces of RAM, which was this one and another one. Uh, this one, the reason I didn't think it was this one was because um, when I first got our computer, it had two gigabytes of RAM, okay? It was like 2006 I believe and it was a pretty good computer for its time um, it had a I think it had a GT 790 or 7900 uh, for back then that's pretty good and it had you know you could I still use the capture card today as a tuner um, fax thing you know it, it's pretty good pretty advanced for its time I believe um, I have new parts in there it's kind of crowded now I kind of want to get a new computer eventually just because I don't, it's it gets hot kind of, as you can tell. All the p components are kind of close together. There's my graphics card, uh, GTS 450, my uh, power supply, external thing. I'm not sure what it's for, but I have my uh, secondary hard drive in there, and then the cord goes to it from here. It's not actually hooked up to anything in here. The hard drive's underneath this. Um, these are the DVD write and DVD a drive. Uh, but anyway, so I couldn't, I had this problem, and then when I reinstalled Windows, I got another blue screen of death, and I was like, what the freak, this is retarded. So I decided that since that happened, I would actually run MemCheck. I couldn't figure out how to work it before. I figured out that you have to actually burn it to a disk, and then install it, or not install it, but it'll run from the disk. Uh, I stepped on a screw that I need to put back on my hard drive so it stays in there. And uh, I kept getting like tons of errors, so I removed the an a different one originally, and it still got them. So then I removed the other one, and uh, and, it's, and it uh, didn't have any errors anymore. So I figured, well, obviously it has to be one of the two, but since I removed this one first, I mean the other one first, 
and uh, I still got errors. It had to be this one. So I put the other one back in, ran the mem check, and it was fine. So I figured out this is bad RAM. So if you have the memory management problem, uh, try using mem check. I'll uh, put a link to the description. If you really want to know how to use it, I will make a video on that. Um, but I figured maybe... Um, is my computer hooked up? Yeah. Uh, I was... I figured, uh, I would run it again, and it said I had 3 gigabytes of RAM, but when I was running MemCheck, I, this is another question, I want a question for you guys. I was running MemCheck, and it said I had a 512 and a 512, I was like, that's kind of weird, because I thought they were all 1 gigabyte sticks, um, so I thought, well, maybe the old ones were actually 512, but we all thought they, we always thought they were 1 megabyte, I mean, gigabyte, my bad. Uh, yeah, 1 gigabyte sticks, right? So, um... I started my computer up, actually starting it completely up, took out the disc, which is right there, uh, and I put it in, I mean, I went into my computer, and it said I had three gigabytes of RAM, so I'm confused, because do I have three gigabytes of RAM, or do I have two? I don't really know, so, and every time I would go into it, it would say, would I, with this stick in it, it would say three and a half gigabytes of RAM. And I thought maybe it was just reading it wrong or something. So I'm guessing this is bad. I don't know if it was bad right out of the box or if it was bad before. Uh, I would also like to ask you guys, if it was bad before, is there any way I could return the RAM? It, I know it's been a while. It's probably been more than 90 days. So I'm guessing not. Maybe they have like a warranty, like a one-year warranty, a uh, manufacturer warranty. I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys could tell me that, would be awesome. Maybe I could send this or talk to the people at... Uh, the PNY is what the company is that made this RAM. Uh, see, maybe I can get a, like a refund or something. I don't know if I can or not. Or if I'd just be better going buying more RAM. Which I don't really have the money right now. But I might be able to in the future. In the shortish future. So it's not really that big of a deal. But still, uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM. Hopefully, I, I don't know if it was a problem right at the beginning. Because when I first upgraded to Windows 7, v Vegas would render pretty fast. And then it started getting slower and slower. I figured just because I had more stuff. But I didn't really have that much more. And then it just got to a point where it was like, even if I would take and remove stuff, it would still go really slow. But my hard drive was kind of full but then I started putting on another hard drive because I needed two hard drives because otherwise it would just get ridiculous with fraps because fraps take so much space up. Anyway, that's not really what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, if you guys would like me to make a video of how to use mem. All right, hey guys, sorry for the cut there. But like I was saying just a second ago, uh, if you guys would like me to make a video on how to use memcheck, uh, I will do that for you guys. Now this is a little bit farther later. Uh, a little bit farther later. What? No. Anyway, a little bit later on from the video that I just made. Uh, so. I'm just going off from what I last said in my video, and yeah, my computer had those problems, so uh, I would just suggest that if you had those problems also, if you guys would, uh, if you get the memory management thing, test your RAM with MemCheck, and if you need help with that, just just hit me up, uh, comment on this video, send me a message, something, and I will make a video for you guys how to use MemCheck. Um, I might do it anyways after a little while, uh, but I'm not going to do it right away unless somebody really wants me to. Uh, pretty soon, now that my computer is working fine now, uh, I don't have any problems anymore after I remove my RAM. Uh, my computer's running good. I just got Vegas back on my computer and uh, World at War. I will be doing my, oh, more of those. I'll probably be playing with uh, Moezy again. Uh, if you guys would, subscribe to his channel. It'd be cool. Uh, he's probably going to make a new channel, so it probably won't matter too much right this second. Uh, I'll probably give him another shout-out later, probably in a more popular video. But uh, I don't know how popular this video is going to really be, being that it's just going to like be a kind of a quick, not really a quick, it's a kind of a long video, but it's an updates video too. It's going to be uh, a fix for memory management, blue screen of death probably I'll have in the title, and uh, kind of just an update at where I am at this moment. So this my computer crashed about four or five days ago, I believe. Uh, I've been having a really hard time making videos and stuff. I could barely get up that video of my head phone review because I had it done, and that's while I was rendering it, I kept getting the blue screen, and I couldn't render it. Um, so I finally got it to render, uh, but it took it took a while, and, it, and then it, like soon after that, I got another blue screen. I got it to render, and then I got XP back on my computer from XP since I still had the files because I had it on my other hard drive. I uploaded it to YouTube, so that's how I got that video up. But I haven't been able to do anything else, and I haven't been working on anything else. So possibly tomorrow, though, I have been working on my iPod. Uh, I have a display recorder, and I've been recording gameplay of 
a game on my iPod that I'm going to be making a video of soon. I just have to uh, get a little bit more gameplay and then edit it on Vegas. So it should be out maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. I'm not 100% sure. I might be doing a montage soon of MW3, Battlefield 3, kind of like a dual Taj thing. Uh, dual Taj as in those games. It'll probably have more than one person in it. Uh, mainly not me. Probably some of my friends, Sicky Man, uh, Just Crush Him or Mo Easy, you know. Uh, some other people, no wizard, maybe I did a commentary with him a while ago. So, uh, and some other people that I know. So look forward to that. I will have be having more videos up soon because season two of my iPod Touch Game of the Week was supposed to start last weekend, but now with this problem I've been having, I couldn't upload anything. Uh, I, I just I couldn't. So sorry guys for that, but. If you guys, like I said, if you want me to show you how to use Memcheck, it's it's not very hard. Uh, I don't really understand a lot of things in Memcheck, but I could still, you know, uh, help you guys out there just to show you the basics and how to install it and use it. Um, it's not too difficult after you learn how to use it. So, um, so that's about it, guys. I will be doing more videos. I might have a new. Um, custom zombie map soon because uh me and my friend Moisey like I was saying we might be doing another one soon because he finally got uh internet on his computer again so he could play <laughs> so uh thank you guys for w watching this video uh please rate comment subscribe if it helped you uh you're welcome I guess I don't know I'm glad to help you guys uh so remember if you have the memory management problem uh run memcheck if you don't know how to run memcheck just hit me up i'll make a video on it um i will put a link to memcheck and hopefully you guys can figure it out from there if not you can request me to do a video and i will do it um i it put me through a lot of stress and i would recommend trying this first before doing anything before restoring a computer if your blue screen problem is memory management so uh thank you guys for watching Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be out doing some more stuff soon. Thanks for all the subscribers. I'm at like 136 now. I very much appreciate it. Last time I uh, had a video. I think it was. I think it was the headphone video, or it was the the up the redone version of my airsoft gun. I said I had like 127. That means I have 10 from then, and it's only been maybe a week or so. So that's pretty awesome. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. That's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, peace.